Hi everybody, Eric here, and I am going to do an experiment with you. Right here I have some avocado pits that I've saved and have, okay? And now I have been told that these have 70% of the nutrition in an avocado are in the, are in the nuts, okay? But they're really bitter, but so they're really hard to eat by themselves. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in my food dehydrator. So you guys see, we're just gonna set them in there. And we're gonna dehydrate these and we'll come back later when they're dehydrated. We'll put them in the Vitamix and we're gonna make them into a powder, which I'm gonna add into my smoothies just to get that extra boost of nutrition. We'll see how it works out, okay? So you guys are with me on this experiment. There they are. Now we're gonna put the lid on this guy. Sorry, my video shooting skills are so poor. And also, if you have a dehydrator, you wanna make sure you have a low temperature one so that the food can dehydrate and still be considered raw food, okay? So we can turn this down you want to get it under, you know, if I do it all the way down 95 degrees, it'll continue to be raw. So we'll check back in on this later and see how it works. Okay, I'm back. It's the next day. Let's see how these guys came out. Dehydrator. All right, you can see these are dry now, and I've taken off the brown, whatever you call that, seed covering stuff, which generally has those... Um, has all those enzymes that you don't want that seeds have to protect them. So now I'm gonna take them off here. I'm throwing them in my Vitamix. Okay, let's see if this works. You guys will see, we'll be guinea pigs together. Ready, here we go. Okay, there we have it. Avocado powder. Butter, actually, more like avocado butter. So now we have a super nutrient rich additive we can throw in our Shakeology or our smoothies. Um, I'm gonna try it in some different things and I will report back later and let you guys know how it tastes. All right, talk to you later. Okay, I'm back. I figured I would let you guys be here for my taste test. I'm making my Shakeology. Um, it's right there. Shakeology actually already has spinach and kale, but I like to add extra greens. You can never get enough. And then I, it's one less serving of vegetables I have to do a day. This is chocolate vegan Shakeology, which is actually the best flavor for covering up green tastes. That wasn't a monkey. That was my four-year-old squealing over there. Okay. We're going to drop that in there. And then right here, I've got my jar of freshly ground up avocado pits. I'm just gonna get a nice big spoonful of that. A little superfood boost. Really what I wanna know is, can this still be delicious with this because they're a little bit bitter. However, I'm expecting it to be a little creamy because there is some nice avocado oil in there. Okay, here we go. Shaker cup. Okay, let's see how this tastes, guys. All right, so I can't quite figure out how to flip this camera around, so you'll just have to trust me. Well, I'm not gonna lie, you can definitely taste it. <laughs> Lisa's laughing in the background. You can definitely taste it. It definitely adds a bitterness to it, but still drinkable. And I'll still do it every once in a while just for the health benefits. So there you have it. There's our, our avocado powder, superfood. I'll have to figure out a way. We'll, we'll figure out a way to, to make it so that it's delicious. That is not, I would not call that delicious, but I will say it's drinkable. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> All right, guys. Talk okay, to I'm you. back. I added a banana to it. I just have to say, that's what you got to do. A little bit of banana. And you almost can't taste that avocado. <laughs> talk to you guys later.